This, so this is the first yacht of the largest yachts. And this is motor yacht Force Blue. Uh, it's a 70 meter or 256 foot super yacht. Um, it's a fishing style super yacht, which is a, quite an unusual style of yacht if you ask me, but you know, whatever floats your boat. It's a gross tonnage of 1,325. And it has a, a very impressive range of 11,400 nautical miles at 10 knots. Which, um, which is probably something you wouldn't do uh, tr traveling at 10 knots. It still has a, an 8,000 nautical mile range at uh, 12, 12 or 14 knots, which is pretty good. Um, now, that's the basic stats of this. Uh, the builder was Royal Denship, originally built in 2002, and it had a refit in 2022. Now, the interesting stuff about this boat starts with Flavio Briatore. He is the owner of the boat. Now, Flavio Briatore, is Italian obviously and he um, he's, has a long history in Formula One and he also has a long history with tax evasion uh, he was convicted of tax evasion in, in Italy and he lived as a fugitive for years in the British Virgin Islands um, before the, eventually those charges were overturned but after he'd lived outside of Italy for years without paying those taxes and avoiding uh, the Italian government now, more recently, that was in the 1980s, more recently, this yacht was seized by the Italian government for, guess what, tax evasion and uh, non-payment of uh, tax. Um, now, the vessel was seized and it was put up for auction and it was bought by his longtime friend, Bernie Eccleston, for 7 million euros. And the vessel cost around 60 million euros, I believe, to buy it initially. Uh, and uh, yeah, Bernie Eccleston bought it for 7 million euros and since then it went into a refit it had a massive stern extension done all of this all of these stairs and this stern extension down here didn't exist before there was just a flat um, stern here before i've got some footage that i'll try and put in this was all added extra the interior had a big update there was a massive refit on this boat so it is actually you know a good boat to buy if you look in the market because it's had that massive refit in 2022 it doesn't have a fairing, which most super yachts have a fairing. If we look at resilience over here, see how smooth and shiny it is. Um, this is a fairing. It's like an epoxy that they put on, they sand it, and then they paint it. It looks perfect. This does not have that. It's more like a traditional ship style. Uh, but yeah, uh, very interesting story. Now, at the Monaco Grand Prix earlier this year, um, Flavio Briatore was on board posting photographs from the, bo the boat, and his kids were on board, etc. So it is back in his hands, it would seem, and the vessel is now up for sale uh, with Burgess Yachts. Now, we, the price of the vessel is, um, is not known. It's a price on application, so we don't know. But it'd be interesting to find out, you know, purchased the seven million, and then this massive refit on it, which was probably cost more than seven million, the refit alone. But yeah, very interesting story about this boat. So yeah, 70 meters, uh, Lavio Briatore history. Probably got some F1 memorabilia, memorabilia on board, which you might get if you pay the asking price. So we're gonna now head over to our next boat. It's very busy here today, very sunny as well. Always sunny in Monaco, remember? Hey, sis man. Hey. <laughs> so we got our next boat here. It's an 80 meter uh, Motiat Leona. This was built in Turkey um, and it's brand new. It's 2023 boat. Uh, it's uh, 80 meters or 262 feet as i said uh, 1730 gross tons very unusual design there as you can see from the inside uh that pool turkish bath style uh set up there now the price for this boat 60 million dollars uh and it's with bilgen yachts uh that was the builder um and they are like i said based in turkey we looked we had a brief look at this boat yesterday um, we looked at the pool and the and the the shell door, open shell door that you can see there on the left on the port side there and uh, yeah very unusual color this boat has a top speed of 19 knots um, not quite sure what I think of it I think I prefer the dark blue colors now uh, these are these would be crew cabins these these portals here square portals unusual and then there's that um, tender garage that we looked at previously so we're gonna head down to the next boat which is quite a walk from here actually
Uh... All right, so here we are at Moti Yacht Nero. And this is a boat that is, it looks like it comes from the 1930s. And that's not an accident. It is a replica of a yacht called Spirit of Corsair, which was owned by JP Morgan in the 1930s. However, this boat was built in 2008, I believe. Uh, early to, or mid, mid to late 2000s at least. And it is a replica of that boat built by a company called Corsair Yachts uh, in China. Now she's 90 meters long. Now that's a little bit misleading uh, when, uh, when you compare to a modern super yacht because obviously it's got this huge stern here and, uh, and it'll have the same at the bow. So it, it's, and, and the gross tonnage uh, is uh, 1400 gross tons. So it is a decent size, but it is a little bit misleading. 90 meters is uh, 296 feet, by the way. Uh, top speed of 16 knots and uh, it guests, it holds 12 guests and 20 uh, crew. And it believe, I believe it costs 70 million dollars to build. Now it is for sale, uh, but we don't know how much because uh, it's price on application as is often the case with uh, yachts like this. Now the owner, we believe, is Dennis O'Brien. Um, and he uh, has been the owner for quite a while now. Now the, this boat, as we mentioned in a previous video, uh, the boat had an accident in Genoa. It was in Amico shipyard for two years. They took it out of the water in a dry dock facility and the boat fell over on its side. And it was there for two years getting repaired. Um, but it's great to see it back in the water and uh, you know fully functional again but that is uh, nothing to take it doesn't take away from the boat the boat is a, a great uh, looking boat the company Corsair was originally founded by John Walton who is an heir to the Walmart fortune he, he founded the company in California and then it was later moved to China and I believe the, the I believe the uh, vessels constructed in Vietnam now um, but yeah, it was originally founded by John Walton. On to the next boat. All right, and next on our list is Moti Yacht Kensho. Now, this is this the 2023 World Super Yacht Awards and they won their best super yacht so it's a big deal it's a 75 meter or 246 foot uh, super yacht and it is a gross tonnage of 1500 gross tons uh, apparently it cost 110 million dollars and it was built by Admiral Yachts which is part of the Italian Sea Group uh, built in 2021 by the way I gotta give him some information. Excuse me? All right. Now, in the videos we did recently down at Marina de Carrara, when we were filming Shaharasad, I pointed out that Kensho was back in the, in the shipyard, um, which is not, you know, it's not unusual in itself. Um, boats will often go back to the shipyard for warranty work, maintenance work, stuff like that. Um, however, um, what I've heard from sources uh, who want, want, wish to remain anonymous is that the vessel has had a lot of issues on board uh, due to design issues. Um, bad smells, drainage uh, problems with systems on board. And they've been in the in the shipyard trying to get all of this these items repaired so what's that comment what's the phrase uh, all that glistens isn't gold <laughs> i mean i'm sure they'll get it all sorted uh, and it is a fine looking yacht in an unusual color as well all right so we'll move on uh, this is moti yacht savannah uh, this is an 83 meter or 83 and a half meter or 274 foot super yacht built by Fedship uh, in uh, 2015. Now it's got some interesting uh, stuff on here. 
which we've covered in uh, past videos uh, to use to do with uh, its uh, energy saving they say that it's 30% uh, more efficient than an equivalent yacht uh, with a traditional um, power plant and that uses uh, something called urea uh, which is not sheep pea which is what a lot of people will comment in the comment section it's it's manufactured urea it's not uh, you know is a similar substance to what you find in in urine from animals which is used in some sort of diesel um, systems but this is not the same stuff that they're putting in this boat um, and uh, yeah it's supposed to be a very clean boat it's one of uh, fed ships first super clean uh, super yachts I suppose uh, if they if, if you want to call it that as far as super yachts go of course now the owner died uh, in 2022 so the boat uh, was left to the family and they've put it up for sale now um, the cost of this boat reported to be 140 million dollars okay we'll move on to the next boat uh, this is Moti Yacht Phoenix 2 now we are supposed to be going on Moti Yacht Phoenix 2 I said it was confirmed I said it was confirmed uh, but now it's been sort of unconfirmed i'm still waiting to hear back uh if we're actually going to get to go on board um so yeah so uh, stay tuned for that but I'll, I'll include it in this video anyway it's a 90 meter or 295 foot super yacht built by lurston in uh, 2010 and uh it's uh, got a gross tonnage of 2600 and change a uh, top speed of 18 knots 12 guests and a crew of 25. now um the uh the owner of this boat has re recently passed away and um the yacht has been put up for sale by the family i believe so yeah another another unfortunate one now, this was believed to have cost 160 million dollars um in the in the uh in the build phase which is a lot of money isn't it okay so we'll move on now this is a smaller boat but it's here so we'll do it um, 65 meter Ventum Maris uh, 65 meter or 216 feet 1500 gross tons um, top speed of 14 knots and uh, 14 guests and the crew of 20 uh, reportedly um, tw uh, 70 million dollars cost to build now we want to know how much it costs to operate a, a yacht in general uh, you you want to just um, ten percent of the cost to build a yacht is generally what it costs per year. Now that's a general guide. Obviously, if you use it all the time and you and you sail all over the place, you're going to spend them more in fuel and stuff. But it's just a general to give you an idea. It is a charter yacht, this boat, and it can be chartered for five hundred and fifty thousand euros per week plus expenses. When I say uh, plus expenses, uh, if you want to know what that means, I will put a link in the description below. Uh, and you can go and watch a video that I did with a, a captain in a previous yacht show where I interview the captain and he talks about what is included in them in that price the 550,000 euros for this for a week and what you actually get uh, what you what, what you actually have to pay extra on top of that price all right so we'll move on from here three more boats to go bit of a walk all right this boat here is Moti at Orea, not to be confused with Urea, which we were just talking about. This boat is 77 meters uh, or 253 feet, uh, 1500, uh, just shy of 1600 gross tons. Uh, guests 12 in uh, six cabins and a crew of 22. And it was built by Golden Yacht, and this is brand new 2023 delivery. Again, with the crew, with the shirts, with the um, with the uh, rank lapels on, which is nice to see. All right, this has a helipad on this boat, uh, 77 meter. It's a, it's apparently it's got a huge owner's stateroom, uh, two glass bottom pooled, a beach club with spa, and uh, charters for 580 thousand euros a week. Now, if you get on this one soon, it's brand new. So you'll probably be one of the first to ever use it. So you get to uh, peel all the plastic off the seats and stuff. That's a joke, by the way. 
and then move on to the the big big boys down here the, this this vessel here is uh lady lara just come up for sale actually built in 2015 in rendsburg in germany by lursen so anyway this is uh 91 meter or 299 feet as i said uh, 2999 gross tons now there's a reason for that uh, if you go over 3000 gross tons you move into a different category when you're building it and you have to uh, the boat has to be built to a, a higher specification in terms of safety and regulations and restrictions and stuff like that so it stays under 3000 gross tons to prevent it being caught up in extra stuff it's got top speed of 18 knots uh, guests uh, 14 in uh, what's that so, um, in eight, uh, in seven cabins, and uh, a crew of nineteen. That sounds low. Nineteen crew on on a boat this size. I would say there's probably more than that. Owner, I believe, is Alexander Makovic. I, I can't confirm that though. From what I'm told, the uh, owner is very generous. Very generous with the crew. Gives a lot of uh, extra, you know, pay uh, bonuses and stuff like that. So I'm sure the crew will be upset if. Uh, if the new owner doesn't do the same thing all right so we'll move on we've got one more to go if you're still watching you get 10 points motor yacht Corinthia 7 she is unless I've made a mistake here the largest yacht of the yacht show by length and by gross tonnage she's 97 meters or 319 feet um, 3,650 gross tons and uh, price of uh, 95 million uh, to build built by Lurson in 2002 and refit this year so it's you know been renewed I, I don't know how extensive the refit was but probably pretty extensive especially if the owner decided to sell it he knows he needs to get everything fixed that needs to be fixed update everything that needs to be updated and away you go uh, the, the, the owner's name apparently is Heidi Horton. Uh, the late Austrian heiress and philanthropist was the previous owner of the yacht. Horton family has owned several luxury yachts, all named Corinthia. And the, but the last known asking price was $95 million. That's according to Super Yacht Fan. Uh, apparently has a top speed of 26 knots, which is impressive for a Super Yacht. And uh, it can carry 12 guests and has a crew of 25. See, a crew of 25 sounds about right. Um, on Lady Lara, which is not that much smaller than this boat. It says a crew of 19. Um, the stats say a crew of 19, which I, I find hard to believe that 19 crew could run that boat, but it's possible, I suppose. We see some interesting things. Look up on the bridge wing there. You can see the bridge wing that bulges out. It's got a cover. Now that's unusual. And it's got a VSAT antenna on top of the cover, but that's unusual to have a cover and that's great for the captain because if he goes out there and it's raining it's going to get soaking wet uh, well on most boats but on this one he won't because it's got a cover interesting dark hull uh, makes it difficult for the crew but remember we saw the crew washing the boat uh, and you can see now the, the is super shiny the hull they did a great job in cleaning the boat all right guys we got to the end of the video uh, that is the largest yacht of the Monaco Yacht Show I hope you enjoyed that it's a bit crazy because I'm walking from one side of the marina to the other uh, I've sped up the bits in between to, obviously so you don't fall asleep uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you've got any information about any of the yachts that I didn't include in the video be sure to put them down in the comments uh, but yeah be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, and hit the bell for future notifications all right guys thanks very much and I'll catch up with you soon bye bye